Good morning, guys. Oop, are you dizzy yet? Not you. I'm busy right now. Dizzy. Oh. Dizzy. Um, I thought that since today is Valentine's Day, we could do a Valentine's vlog. on the way out there. So we have some really cool plans for today. We do. What do you have planned for Valentine's Day? Uh, We're going to, we don't have plans. Ah, uh, Netflix. We don't do the whole going out to eat on Valentine's Day anymore because it's- It's crowded. We yeah. did that for so many years, obviously, but. We give each other gifts all throughout the year. Kind of like Christmas. We give each other gifts throughout the year. And I mean, like we might do something little, like I'll probably buy him coffee later. But anyway, so we're going to Austin because I'm actually meeting up with a photographer in the area. Uh, he reached out to me on Instagram and asked if we wanted to work together. So we're going to meet up with him in Austin. I was also... We don't go out for Valentine's Day. Well, since we're out. <laughs> I'm also wanting to do is get more stuff for the care packages with the ever gracious help of our friend Paul who sent us... A very generous donation so I can get some extra stuff or care packages for this month and I have not had time to go utilize uh, his generous donation yet but I should have some time today you're not gonna be a part of that but I'll show you guys because I haven't updated y'all on the care packages in a while and I'll show you what I'm going to include in this round let's get to the vlog hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day and I know that y'all see this after Valentine's Day so hopefully y'all had a wonderful Valentine's Day if you celebrated the camera is moving if not, I hope it was a wonderful day in general. So let's get to the vlog. So I always get really excited whenever I go in to buy stuff for care packages because I get all these ideas. I'm like, okay, what would somebody need? And I get really excited about being able to bring them little things that they probably need every day. And since the weather has been so nasty lately, I'm going to for sure get umbrellas. We usually get ponchos, but I'm going to get umbrellas since Paul had sent us such a wonderful donation we can actually afford to put some umbrellas in there which is going to be really cool but i've got some other ideas of things that i think just people would find helpful i'm really excited Why are umbrellas so freaking expensive at Target? 15 to 20 dollars. Not necessary. Going in there and not having to worry about money when shopping for those care packages was pretty freaking cool. I'm really excited because I got some really awesome things, as you guys can see. First aid kits, and I got the slightly bigger ones and some nail kits, which I have not seen before, but I thought that could be helpful. Of course, we've got our snacks. Um, I still need to get the, I'm working on five care packages right now, um, really good ones, and that's the bonus in addition to February. Oh, side note, I know I'm kind of squirrely right now, but I also got two packages of organic tampons to have in the car, because like I said, most of the homeless that we give care packages to are men, but I cannot imagine what it would be like to be a female on the street, especially during that time of the month. So I've got two boxes of uh, organic tampons because I researched what's in non-organic and it's insane, guys. So I got two boxes that I'm gonna keep in the car so if we do find a female, that sounds weird, I'll be able to put the box of tampons into the backpack quickly before we hand the bag to her. So, and those are a bit pricey, which we have not been able to get those yet just because of the price, but with Paul's donation, I was able to do that. So I'm really excited guys. And even shopping for these items gets me kind of choked up because I can't imagine what people go through on a day-to-day -day basis, just the struggle of daily life. You know, what you do with your time, where you sleep, um, not feeling safe every single day 
we've had a couple people tell us, you know, we don't get to interact with them very long because a lot of time we're in the cars, we're driving, and they're just at a stoplight. But um, I had one guy, we handed him a backpack, and he said, oh my gosh, this is awesome. Thank you so much. My bag just got stolen. He said it had all my stuff in it, and it's gone. You know, not having any degree of security of what you have, even if it's just a few things. Uh, another guy that we recently gave a care package to said that he needed a new backpack. He, he was so excited about the backpack because a, he said a rat or a mouse had chewed a hole through his other one. So it's not, it wasn't working very well. Um, so he was really excited about that backpack. So it's just crazy to think about the little things that we take for granted every day just getting from point A to point B with our car, you know, everything is so much more difficult on the street. And then on top of that, trying to get your life together when you have nothing. So being able to put these care packages together, you guys, it makes me so happy to know that just for a moment, for one moment, they can know that they're loved. Um, you know, even if it is just a moment. And sometimes that's what people need is that reminder. And it's amazing. I wish you guys could be here. And I know we don't really film handing out the care packages because I do want to respect the privacy of these people. But it's amazing handing these out and just even for a split second, seeing the look on their face of just complete disbelief that a stranger would do something so nice for them it's worth it. It's amazing because so many of y'all financially help us to do this every single month and it's amazing. And I just cannot say how much we appreciate the help from you guys because we literally could not do this without you. Um, money has been a bit more tight lately, at least for me. And so have, if we didn't have these Patreon donations every month, I wouldn't be able to put anything together. Um, so it, I just wanted to thank you guys. Thank you, Paul, for your additional donation that we're using this month. Um, and I, if anything, I can just encourage you guys to do something nice for somebody else. And it doesn't have to be to this degree, but maybe consider something. Um, you know, I've, I've had a few before we started the care packages. I would buy a little gift card at the grocery store and I would say, apply this to the next person's cart. Little things like that. And you don't even have to be there whenever they use it, but them just knowing that that love is there for them in this world. Sometimes it can make more of a difference than you'll ever know. And I guess that kind of ties into Valentine's Day, doesn't it? Hm. I didn't even do that on purpose. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go back to Matt's work. We're gonna go eat. This has gone on long enough. And um, we're gonna get some lunch and I... Happy Valentine's Day. I was gonna eat some with you, but I don't have time. What do you have to do? I have to go dump the gray water and then take a shower, and then I have a new client program to send, check my emails, edit my video before it goes up at 2.30. I need to go and get more backpacks, because I was only able to go to Target, so I need to go to Five Below and get backpacks and get those put together. I'm not going, to, I'm going that way. All right. Bye. Bye. Hey, how's your camera? Weird. Do you know what was going? No. Oh, you didn't? No. I thought you did. It was so I could show giving you your Valentine's Day present. I did not dump the gray water. I was able to shower without having to dump it. That is one thing. I was always curious how you know when your gray water is full. I figured that, you know, something, something will let you know that it's full. We found out that, of course, I mean, this is just common sense, but not anything I've ever thought about before. So there was one day the gray water was full and I went to take a shower and I opened the door and water was backing up into the shower because that's our lowest point. Um, 
so yeah that's where that's when you find out that the gray water is really full is whenever the shower starts backing up so that's that was great <laughs> So this morning it was nasty outside, absolutely disgusting, but hallelujah we have some sunshine and we can almost, almost see the sky guys, almost. <laughs> but compared to what it has been, I will take it. There's the camera, I was looking for the little camera. I will take it. Uh, it's been so gross and it's uh, 60, 60 degrees right now. Beautiful, wonderful day. I just wish we could have more than two hours of this. All right, you guys, these are going to be the best backpacks yet, I think. I got so many wonderful things. I can't even begin to go through it. I also got umbrellas. I have wanted to get umbrellas. Um, they were $5 at Five Below, $5 each, which is way better than $20 at Target. Man, this is, this is amazing. All right, so apparently I have a package at the post office. The line was out the door, like out of the little service door. So there's no way I was going to wait in line. That's probably an hour wait. I'm gonna have to get the package tomorrow. I know what it is though, and I'm excited to show you guys what it is, because I can implement it into Fitness Fridays. So that's all I'm gonna say. Go get a sushi! That's my date. Welcome back. Oreos! So, oh my gosh, it's almost nine and we're getting back from Austin. We ended up not even getting to pass out any care packages, although they are, that lighting is harsh, ready. Uh, I need to put the last few together. But we ended up staying at the coffee shop talking with the photographer for hours. like three hours. He's pretty cool. But we're gonna try and My do- My back showing? That's embarrassing. <laughs> we're gonna try and do some kind of photo shoot in the next week or so. I don't really know what, but I think it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be awesome. Matt's gonna be in it. What? Just kidding. Uh, so we stopped in for a romantic dinner. We got sushi and it's gonna be great. I'm tired and we're gonna lay in bed and eat sushi. I'm gonna eat Oreos. Can I have one? Money please. <laughs> Thanks. Even before we can eat, we have to do all these little chores. Our little micro tasks? Mm-hmm. This is delicious. Rice right, pretty good. Wow. Have you guys ever tried a lemon Oreo? Because that's fantastic. Anyway, 
So we're gonna do all of our little micro tasks so we can actually get dinner. <laughs> Quick, funny story for you guys. <laughs> the other day, Matt was in bed, and do you remember this, Matt? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. He was in bed and hanging out with the pups and I was getting ready. It was in the morning. And he was about to sneeze. And what happened? I had to run next door, Blair. Was it one of the dogs? One of the dogs, like, distracted you? He was about to sneeze, so I'm in the bathroom and he's in the darkness in the bed over there. And I just hear, Wah! <laughs> And that's it. It was just like this retching sound. I was like, what was that? He said, I had to sneeze, but the dog distracted me. So it was just like, Wah! Do you remember that? Who, who was the story about? I don't even know who you're talking about. Fun fact, Matt hates sneezing. It's pointless. I mean, I get the point of he it. He hates it. Like, he gets mad every time he sneezes. I don't know if we've told you guys this, but I told my parents that, so now every time they sneeze. They apologize. Especially my dad, he says, sorry, Matt. So instead of saying, bless you, when you sneeze, say, sorry, Matt. No. Because when you sneeze, Somewhere out there in the world. Don't start that. A Matt gets angry. I get, you know. Still All right, so this is a veggie roll with sweet potato and sweet tofu skins, which are really, really good. Um, it's actually two rolls, so not a ton of food, but don't worry. Don't worry. I've got dessert to back it up. I'm worried. Don't worry. I'm worried. It seems angry. Brady, come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I like the pause. He needed that last assurance. Are you sure? <laughs> Can I actually be here? Funny Brady. What are you doing? Why are you up here? Oh, Buzz? Is there a Buzz down there? Oh, oh Buzz! Buzz! You made Buzz. it! Oh no! Come here, Buzz. Come here. Come here. Buzz, come here. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? Somebody burped. That was this one. Gross. I saw him stick his tongue out and then got... <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like your sneeze. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Where are you going? God, they're so cute. Brady. Buzz. Thank oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, they're so close. Hey, Brady. Happy Valentine's Day, boys. He is our Valentine's Day boy. Mm -hmm. We got him a year ago. ago. Hi, Brady. Been with us for a year. Remember that GoPro you ate? Mm -hmm. No. Now you owe us a GoPro. Babe, sign us out. Good luck out there. <laughs> Have fun out there. Get some sleep out there. Get some sleep out there. Bye, guys.